Hey there, it's Scott. I need to make a withdrawal. Oh, hi Scott. Well, how much would you like to withdraw? I need to withdraw all of it. Are you sure you want to withdraw all of it? Um, yeah. Yeah, give me all of it. What's up everybody? My name is Scott. You're watching Kentucky Ballistics and I am about to make the stupidest decision of my entire life. Today we're going to see how much money it takes to stop a bullet. So I had this idea about two weeks ago and I thought, if we're going to do it, let's, let's go big or go home, right? So I went to the bank and I told them I wanted to withdraw my entire life savings, which was a little over $100,000. I wanted it all in $1 bills, but apparently they didn't have that many ones at the bank. So they said the best they could do was big bills. So let me show you what we got here. I have never held this much money in my entire life. Oh, it smells so good. This is such a dumb decision. Um, I'm having second thoughts right now, honestly. Uh, we, we might not make this video. But this is $100,000. This is 10 stacks of $10,000. And I'll show you real quick. And I'll show you real quick that there's no fillers in here. You have all $100 bills. There's not blanks in the middle or anything like that. This is <laughs> it's a $10,000 stack. <laughs> what are we doing? So I know what you're thinking. Why would I shoot $100,000 knowing that it's going to be destroyed and I'm going to lose it? Well, from what I understand, as long as you have three-fourths of the bill, it's still good. It still works as currency. So in theory, when I take this back to the bank with bullet holes in it, they should put it back in my savings account. In theory. Nah, you know what? This is a horrible decision and an awful idea, and it is not worth risking. I'm taking this back to the bank, and we're gonna do something else. No. No, we're gonna do it. We've already come this far, we've got the money out here. Let's, we're gonna do it. Let's do it before I change my mind again. I'll stack it up like this. I don't know how I'm gonna get that to stay though. Didn't think about that. Okay, we've got our money set up against this cinder block and we have a two by four holding it upright. Hopefully that will work. So I thought long and hard about what gun we should use first. And normally we start out with a small caliber, like a 22, and then we work our way up to something big. But today we're shooting $100,000, and I don't think it's appropriate to start out with a 22. So instead, we're gonna start out with our Desert Eagle chambered in 50 AE. And we're gonna be loaded up with some Hornady 300 grain jacketed hollow points. Horrible idea. <laughs> Oh, I can't believe we're about to do this. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, okay, so we have money everywhere. We didn't go through all of it. I'm pretty sure we stopped the bullet. So we've got money all over the place. Got a clean hole through most of it, but we have a lot that we did not make it through. So I'm gonna need to pick all this up real quick. 20 minutes later. Now where is the bullet? Oh my goodness, there it is. <laughs> so here it is. I can't believe we found it. And you can see there's little bitty pieces of money stuck to the bullet. Here's what we have left. This is everything that we actually made it through with the Desert Eagle. After counting all this, it looks like it took about $43,700 to stop a Desert Eagle 50 AE. I don't know if the bank is going to want the damaged pieces or not, like the little pieces. 
all this is still good. So roughly we have $56,000 left that is not damaged. Now let's try out nine millimeter. We're gonna be using our new Frontier Armory KB5. It's got my logo engraved on the side. I love this gun so much. We're gonna be loaded up with some Colt defense ammunition. This is nine millimeter, 124 grain jacketed hollow points. Oh, I wonder how much money I'm gonna to have to pick up this time. Well, that didn't go as far, that's good. <laughs> so we have a lot that is undamaged and that's a good thing. And here's the bullet right here. It's gonna take a really long time to count all this and we're running out of daylight. So I'm just gonna take a guess. We had about $56,000 left. This is the stack that it took to stop the nine millimeter and this is what we have left. So I would say it probably took a little over $30,000 to stop the nine millimeter. So we have our money set back up. I have the undamaged bills at the back and we put the damaged bills up front and we're just gonna shoot those again. Okay, now let's see how much cash it takes to stop a 45. We have a Springfield 1911 model A1 and we're gonna be loaded up with some Underwood ammo, 45 ACP, 230 grain jacketed hollow points. There's the bullet right there. <laughs> All right, so we got some money on the ground, a little bit of money on the table. Does not look like we made it into our undamaged stack. And there's the bullet right there. That's a big hunk of lead. So we didn't make it into our undamaged stack. We stayed in this $30,000 range. This is the money that only has one hole in it. So we know that just nine millimeter went through this. And this stack has two holes in it. So you can tell that the nine and the 45 went through all this. We estimated that this stack was around 30,000. So I'm gonna say it took about I don't know, 24,000 or so to stop the 45. So we have about 26,000 left that is undamaged. So we got what's left of the money set up on the table. Let's see if it's enough to stop a 22 long rifle. This is a Smith & Wesson Victory and we're gonna be loaded up with some 40 grain lead round nose. Okay, it looks like it stopped in the stack. It almost made it through the whole thing. So this is what we made it through. And it looks like our bullet is right here. So this whole stack was about 26,000. This is what we made it through. And this is what we had left. So I'm gonna say I don't know, probably around 20,000 to stop the 22 long rifle. So for our grand finale, we have all $100,000 back on the table and we're gonna see if that's enough to stop an armor piercing 50 BMG. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, well, it doesn't look like $100,000 will stop a 50 BMG. <laughs> it's like we blew through all of it. So if you haven't already figured it out, and I really hope you have, we have not been shooting real money today. There is no way I would shoot real money, especially $100,000. I wish I had $100,000 in cash. This is from a website called propmoney.com. You can see that it says for motion picture purposes, and here it says motion picture purposes. And on the back, it says motion picture purposes, in props we trust. This is actually not the same size as a $100 bill. The president's face and the buildings are slightly different. They use a different kind of paper. They use a different kind of ink. This blue bar here in the bell does not reflect. This is 100% fake and only for 
motion picture purposes. You can get in a lot of trouble if you try to use this as real money. But this is what they use in the movies because you're not allowed to actually destroy money. It's against the law. When I found these, I couldn't help myself. I had to make a video. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Be sure and give it a like. Share the video. If you're not already subscribed to Kentucky Ballistics, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, be sure to check out Kentucky Ballistics Clothing and check us out on Patreon, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Links to all those can be found in the description down below, or you can find them on our website, KentuckyBallistics.com. Again, my name is Scott. Thank you so much for watching Kentucky Ballistics, and I'll see you next time. <laughs> I always wanted to do